Welcome back YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. Uh, we're on the lake this morning. We are going to do something a little different today. We're actually going to uh, slip float minnows today. I'm going to show you guys how I rig a slip float and then I'm going to show you how productive slip floating minnows can be, especially in the summer when it's hot and the fish just don't really want an artificial bait. Um, you know, they'll look at it, they'll follow it. You know, you might get some light strikes, but for the most part, um, they're not looking for an artificial bait. And you can really catch a lot of crappie um, slip floating minnows in the summer. So uh, we've got uh, 81 degree water temps right now, 82 degree water temps. Uh, still hot. It is August the 2nd, and we're going to go slip floating. So come on along. Um, Let's go catch some fish. I want to take a minute and show you guys how I rig my slip float. So I have a bobber stop. It's just a standard bobber stop from Walmart. That black plastic tube, you slide your line inside that black plastic tube. Pull it through, okay? That way you've got that bobber stop on your line, just like so, okay? That's first. Second, you've got a little, I don't know if you guys can see that, a little green bead. It goes right on your line. After that bobber stop, so there's that on the line. And I've got a fill balsa wood float it's pink and white. I like pink. It's breast cancer awareness. That's what that is. So we slide that on there. So now we've got our bobber stop, our bead, and our float. Okay. All right, and gold number two Aberdeen hook. And I tie a polymer knot on that. Fisherman's knot, polymer knot, either one. What you do with this bobber stop, okay? So you got the bobber stop, the bead, the float, and the hook. All right. Then I'll take a split shot. Got my split shot. And I'll put it six or eight inches above the hook. I know you're not supposed to use your teeth, but I'm old school. All right. So there you go. There's your slip float. All right, guys. Then you take this black plastic tube. Take this black plastic tube and you actually slide this thread off the tube onto the line. That little black plastic tube comes off. Okay. You just discard that. I threw it in the boat, not the lake. And then you take either side of this thread and you just cinch it down tight on your line. It's like so. Then you can bite these little pieces of thread. Bite these little pieces of thread off so that it'll go through your eyes. And you're ready to go fishing. There's your slip float set up for your minnow. And what you'll do is whatever depth those fish are, you'll take this bobber stop and you'll just slide it up your line to whatever depth you need it for the fish. Hope that helps, guys. That's how I set mine up. It's very simple, and it works great. 
and it's relatively inexpensive. Those bobber stops don't cost too much. Like I said, I get mine at Walmart. So, uh, hope that helps, guys. Let's go see if we can't catch a fish. All right, so there's a view of what this looks like on our live scope under this dock. You can see all those fish sitting under there. Let's see if we can't go catch one. Gotta love docks. <laughs> yeah. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. That one just ran off with it. And didn't even pull float under. He just ran off with it. Good fish. Oh, stay on there. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, stay on there. There we go. There we go. On the slip float. <laughs> oh, boy. I think we got them figured out. What do you think? A white crappie. The last one we caught was a black. This is a white. So you can tell the difference. You see the vertical bars on that fish right there. That's a white crappie. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go catch another one. Get it. There he goes. Whoop. That's a nice fish. So we've moved spots. We're on a brush pile now. And we're slip floating still, slip floating minnows on brush. See if we can't get another one. Got that one. Of course. Got him that time. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice crappie right there. Nice white crappie. On the slip float in a minute. We got them figured out now, guys.
Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Nice fish. Whoa, I'm throwing them at you. You know, you know, like I said earlier, the bite, the bait bite, I'll call it, the artificial bait bite was just slow. It's so hot. Water temperatures are uh, 84 degrees. It's just so hot out that um, you know they're just they're just very lethargic. They're not they're not wanting to chase a bait very much. <clears throat> and when they get that way, live bait, guys, you can't beat it. Uh, it's natural forage. It's what they eat. Let's go get another one. got a fish on I broke my line if I can get to him before he pulls me off I'm gonna hand fish it. <laughs> I'm gonna hand catch his fish oh, oh. Got him. oh my god oh my god Did you guys see that right there? Holy, look, my line broke. Look at that, my line broke. And because I had that slip float on there with that bobber stop, I was able to go get that fish <laughs> by hand. Oh my gosh, look at that pig. Holy crap, look at that pig. I set the hook on that fish and I'm using four pound test line. That's probably a, that's close to a two pounder right there. I mean, look at the mouth on this fish. Look at that. I mean, you can put, I got all five fingers in that fish's mouth. Look at that. That is a giant right there. That is a big old white crappie. And I, the float was still going up and down. Cause like I said, I had that bobber stop on there. So he couldn't pull the line back and I could see him man oh man what a fish goodness gracious guys that is a giant that is unbelievable <laughs> oh man if i didn't have that on video wouldn't nobody believe me oh live bait in the summer when it's hot we're gonna put this fish in the live well um i'm gonna take some pictures with him here later but Live bait in the summer, guys, uh, is just, it, it's just so productive. Um, you know, I'm a crappie fisherman. I'm an angler. I'm through and through. It doesn't matter to me if you catch them on live bait, artificial bait, spider rigging. Like I said, I, I, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm an angler, and I'm going to go catch the fish best way that I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. We're going to end it on that one. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. <laughs> I can't believe that that just happened. Um, watch out for our videos once a week. We appreciate you guys watching. Uh, subscribe in the bottom corner, guys. And uh, God bless. We'll see you next week. I don't even know. Good night. I don't know what to say about it.